Hi everybody, Jen here with a layout that is introducing my new little nephew uh, to the world here. Um, he's actually now, today actually, the 25th is, he's now two months old, but this these photos were taken uh, on his second day of life when he when I went to go visit him in the hospital for the first day, first time. His name is Christopher, and that is a picture of my cousin holding him, as well as a picture of him um, being absolutely adorable. I don't know why I keep hitting my tripod. I am so sorry. I must have been elbowing it without even realizing it. So, like I've said before, I don't have kids, so I don't have any baby collections. I don't have a lot of baby colored stuff. I'm not really the pastel kind of color girl so I ended up going to Hobby Lobby and picking up I think this is the might be Cardabella no I don't think it's Cardabella because it's not that lovely paper texture it's the bundle of joy kit but it's the boy version and I I used my coupon and I figured that I you know he's going to I have tons of baby pictures of him and I can easily use it up. So for $6 or $7, I can make it work and use it. And it's actually really versatile, except for some of the stickers and embellishments. So I'm using quite a few pieces of paper here alone. Um, I used this uh, like flower star burst pattern on top of the blue polka dot and mounted my pictures on a green, it was like this greenish yellow that I didn't care for too much, um, but it was the same color in that multicolored white paper there. So I figure that you're not gonna see a lot of it, it'll pop the pictures and it doesn't have to be a centerpiece on my page, but I'll still use it. So I loved the chevron piece of paper and I'm gonna make that uh, where my title goes. So it's brown chevron and um, using these branding strips that were the, and they're not branding strips, they're the actual, what I, the quarter of an inch I cut off of the, that uh, multicolored white burst paper. So I'm using them and gonna put them behind that piece of brown paper and it, they're yellow, the lighting, I must have been doing this in the evening and the light is not very good on this video most of my scrap time is done in the evening so it's it can be difficult lighting wise but they're yellow they're not an awful yellow mustard color that it's appearing it's really like a bright yellow so i am fiddling around here and going to start gluing my layers down and i'm going to end up fiddling i really thought i kept putting it on the two pictures on the left there and uh I, it ends up being, I end up doing it opposite. Sorry, I'm texting here. My, uh, my cousin, she's actually, uh, the reason I call him my nephew, he, she's not, she's not even technically related to me. It's my mom's best friend from high school or middle school. It's her daughter and she's an only child. And I have a sibling that I am not very close with. So we are two peas in a pod. We are best friends. We have been best friends since we were itty bitty kids. I mean, I've known, she's three years, two or three years younger than I am. And uh, she, I mean, from the time, known her since the time she came home. Um, so she, she and I were more like sisters than anything else. We're best friends and, uh, so this little this little baby means quite a lot to me. He's really, you know, a part of my family, and you know, he's I'm gonna grow up, and or he's gonna grow up knowing me, knowing nothing but not like having me in his life kind of thing. So um, it's a big deal for her to have her first. This is her first child. So um, he it's but my cousin we call each other cousins because it's easier to describe pe to people that it's my, they're my cousin so but he, i'm going to call him my nephew he's going to call me auntie so anyway <laughs> that little whole thing but he is um adorable and he's now like i said eight weeks old and oh my god i love him he's the sweetest little thing 
So while I've been rambling on here, I've been going through my embellishments, including the piece of uh, the sticker, the 12 by 12 sticker sheets that came in the kit, and I pulled off anything that I thought I wanted to use. I use a couple of these green asterisks. They're kind of like the pastel colors of it that came in a Studio Calico kit, I think from the spring or the summer, and then I pulled out some of these Heidi Swap acetate stars um, and a couple of different acetate sheets. I have all my embellishments put in by uh, materials, all my acetates together, regardless of the, the manufacturer. So I pulled out a heart and a couple of stars, and I will um, try to, I'm going to fiddle with them a whole bunch and come up with essentially like three little clusters. So that's a clear acetate star, and I really liked it, but you really can't see it. So I decided that I was going to put this other acetate star on top of it, and then I ended up putting a flare badge on top of that. So you really, it makes a little cluster. And then this is another Heidi Swap one uh, that does have some pattern on it, so you can see that. And I'm going to use my tiny attacher here to staple them down, but I'm going to do it in a way that you can't see it. I do it underneath the photo so you won't, you can't tell that it's stapled. I love my tiny attacher, but this was not a layout that I wanted a staple on. So I pulled out this Brad from I don't know where, um, and it's kind of funny because it's got a mustache on it, and I, I never got into that mustache trend, and um, it's, but the color was perfect and it was kind of cute because it's by the It's a Boy, so the mustache actually kind of makes sense there instead of just being silly looking. So I used that and I got this flare, flare badge that says hello and then I pulled this, pulled that strip of sticker and put it next to the It's a Boy to the left of it that says uh, Baby Boy. So it's very fitting and I, it's funny, I loved working with this little collection. I love kids. I was a living nanny. I babysat. I want my own children very, very badly. Um, but it's just not the right time at this point in my life. But, um, so I am going to spoil this little guy to the ends of the earth. I love him. Um, so I had, I really had a lot of fun doing this layout. And I'm pulling off the stickers here, creating the title. And the title is Hello Christopher. Christopher is his name, um, and it's very difficult to see on here his the title, his name, Christopher, but in person you can see it fine. It's just you really can't see it at all on here, and I'm realizing that as I'm watching it here. It, you can't, it doesn't even look like I'm putting anything down. You can't read it. Per, in person, it's totally different. You can read it fine. And... Um, so I, the lighting must have just been awful because the colors are not true and you really can't read, read the names. So, but that's my title. And then I'm going to take here those little, the little elephant and lion and line them up here. And I'm going to pop them up on pop dots or on scotch foam tape, actually, because I, I like how that it's not as dimensional as some of the pop dots, pop dots I own. So I'm going to use the lion, and I am going to use the elephant, but I'm not quite, I think so. Maybe I'm not. I really thought I put it on there. Hmm. Maybe not. Um, I try to put it on, and I think I put it back on the sticker sheet. Yep, I don't use the elephant. But these colors were awesome. I love little boy colors. They're they're my my colors. I love teal and green and brown and, and all of that. So that was no big deal making... Um, the colors work. And then I've got a couple more brads here that I'm putting down in this little cluster. Putting, And then <laughs> I put this brad down. I leave it there for a little bit. I decide I really don't like it. And then I <laughs> put a sticker to cover up the hole. But I'm going to reposition it here and that's going to finish up my layout. Thanks for watching. See you next time.